Okay, so getting the Flail Whip is pretty much a game-long puzzle for the best weapon in the game. It's not only a test of your memory, but also of your logic and mathematical abilities. Many people consider some of the endgame puzzles hard, but I find the Flail Whip to be extremely insidious. If you attempt this puzzle, remember that you can only do it once. It activates upon reading the tablet in the room, and it deactivates when you screw up or leave the room. The only real way to redo this puzzle is to reset the game, so uh, be careful. First off, you'll need several tablets of information regarding the gemstone information. Most of them are in English, and you'll recognize them instantly, but two require the full knowledge of the ancient texts tablets. One in Temple of the Moon holds the weight values, and one in Chamber of Extinction holds the colors of the heart. When you finish gathering the data, you'll then apply colors to emotions, emotions to gems, and gems to weights. Samarantha unlocks the room for you and tells you to balance the aspects of the heart, but when you start doing the math, you notice one thing missing. The numbers don't balance out. Something's missing. The final piece of the puzzle is very clever and insidiously hidden through very vague implications. What I'm about to say is technically all speculation built from stuff found in-game, so bear with me, please. In the tablet revealing weight values, there's one extra icon alongside the gems, which is an eagle. While nothing in-game signifies the eagle, the eagle itself is often used as a sign of courage across various cultures in North and South America. Throughout the game, you are often tasked with proving your courage, so it could be speculated that the last aspect of the heart is courage, found within the one who would brave the ruins of La Mulana. While that's all well and dandy, there's just one problem, we don't know how much La Mesa weighs. That problem is circumvented in the Mausoleum of the Giants. In the room with Zebu, you see an unusual looking floor and a display directly above it. Those with a curious mind would probably have tried to platform to it only to find strange rooms displayed. These are actually part of the La Mulanese alphabet and display a distinct weight value of 61. With that, you have the last piece of the weight puzzle. The math is generally easy, but given the weight values, it could get frustrating to balance the values of the puzzle. A notepad may be necessary depending on how purist you want this run to be. When you get all the information together, though, the puzzle solves itself. Just don't forget to bring weights. They're kind of important. And now, enjoy actual gameplay. Alright, so before we continue any of um, La Mulana, I want to get the best weapon in the game. And for that, I brought a friend along. So, yeah, Altio, get out of your system. I fucking love how I got this weapon. Yep, go ahead and explain it, because I'm pretty sure before the actual video comes out, there's going to be a long-winded explanation of how to get this puzzle. How did you get it? So, I basically just walked into the room and spent roughly 13 minutes... Uh, guessing, failing, and then reloading the save to get this, uh, glorious treasure. Yeah. You, ba you basically, what, um, brute forced the combination? Yep. But there's, but there's a slight, bleh. There's a slight problem. If you do the math for this puzzle, there's 50,000 combinations, and you managed to get the correct one in roughly 13 minutes. That's because I'm a badass. I am still mad to this day. He's just jelly in my luck skills. Yeah. At this point, I'm basically, like, making sure I got the notes right, because I have, like, a bunch of notes to the side trying to figure out how to math this thing. But yeah, um, math is hard. That's why I didn't do it. <laughs> I think I spent, like, somewhere around 45 minutes actually doing the math when I realized, hey, wait a minute, something's wrong here. Thing is, I was too lazy to go and find all the pieces of the puzzle again, so I just figured, ah, fuck it, I'll do this till the end of the stream, and, uh... And then the stream ended rather quickly. Yeah, because I... <laughs> I made La Mulana history, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, I doubt that, but, um, yeah. Uh, Altio broke... F brute force this combination and got the best weapon. It's not all that hard though, but the problem is you need to like complete the uh, deciphered al alphabet in order to actually get this thing. Because I believe two of the tablets require the uh, what's it called? Yeah, you need the complete Rosetta Stone for uh, yeah. the translations. Yeah, and two of them have like notes on what colors are the weights and what weights are the uh, gems. And I just demonstrated there that you need to, um, what's it called? 
you yourself are a weight as well, so it's not complete until you stand on one of the tiles. This was a beautifully done puzzle, and I almost feel bad for completely fucking it up. <laughs> well, yeah, there it is. After all the plight of doing the research, we got the flail whip. Huh. It's, I believe, roughly the same power as the axe unupgraded. But the problem is, or the thing is, the whip attacks a lot faster than the axe and has that disjointed hitbox. Actually, I'm pretty sure the uh, flail whip is equal to, if not more powerful, than the rune sword when it's powered up. Really? I thought the uh, rune sword powered up and the axe were the same as well. I think it's like 6 damage for the key sword and 4 damage for the axe. Ah, oh, that, that's probably right. I'm not quite sure. I don't remember yeah, numbers specifically, but yeah. Uh, yeah, that's the chain whip. I'll see you guys next time.